This is Nikola Tesla's DC motor and generator patent. It is patent number 406968. Essentially, this is a double Faraday disc to jump in really fast. The terminals for positive and negative are the shafts, and they are taken off of these little clips. There can be other ways of connecting to the shaft. I've thought of even doing a metallic liquid. Okay, so the electricity comes in and out of the shafts, and I'll show you how real fast I'll do a quick breakdown of each little part. So we'll take out the little electrical conductors, take out the conductive band, take off the second side of the casing, and now you can see in the inside of this. And what we've got here are two conductive rotors, either brass or copper. There are flanges like a pulley on the back side here. Each of these have their own pulleys to be put to an engine. To either turn them so you get electricity out if you put electricity in you can it'll spin it and you can get mechanical or rotational mechanical power out coming back i wouldn't take out the rotors we can then just look at the casing here to understand how this works understand that there will be a magnetic field that goes either one way or the other that follows axially so that you can either have north going this way or north going this way and then so on the bottom do them opposite of each other for a typical version and what, what you see here if you have the north pointing towards the drive pulley and then on the bottom you have the north pointing towards the terminal you will then be able to have a continuous loop of electricity that follows the band and the discs can rotate in the same direction if on the top side the rotor is spinning clockwise we have the magnetic field pointing in which is our, this part of our fingers our index finger is the current. If there is a current like this, the force for the electrons in the conductor will be pointed from the center to the periphery as it rotates. So as this first one rotates with the magnetic field pointed this way, the current will go from the center of the shaft through the rotor to the periphery to the belt. And then now if we're at the bottom, we have the same rotor spinning the same direction, rotor spinning clockwise, but we have the magnetic field going the other direction, pointing towards the terminals. When this spins clockwise, the force is towards the drive shaft. So on this rotor, the current will go from the periphery through the rotor to the center drive shaft and out. Now altogether, it goes into the drive shaft, through the rotor to the periphery, to the band, down the band, to the periphery of the second rotor, through the rotor, to the center drive shaft of the second rotor, and out. And you take the electricity off of this.